Okay, so um, I know this is a bit sort of like a, a sleepy time, but uh, you know, let's try to uh, do as an interactive session as possible. Yes. Okay. Uh, so today, uh, last week, sorry, um, last Tuesday actually, uh, we did the lesson on passive voice, right? And uh, I hope all of now all of you have a thorough idea to what that is, right? And how to construct passive voice sentences and what is the structure which we need to follow and everything, right? Uh, so today what we are going to do is we are going to learn the basic writing sentence. So that means when we write a sentence, what are the structures which we need to follow and also uh, from the beginning itself, yes? So what is a simple sentence? How can we make it? make a complex sentence and what do we need to add. So everything we will be covering up throughout this session. Okay. And then let's get started. All right. Um, when it comes to, just give me a second. Okay. So then throughout this session, we will be covering the basic elements of a sentence, right? And afterwards we will be doing a bit complex uh, strategy or like a structure where we'll be learning simple sentences, how to make compound and complex sentences. Well, that's, that's we have on menu, menu with the uh, session. Okay. Right. Then what is the sentence? So here it's given a description to what a sentence is. Yes. A sentence is a collection of words, right? So if we just stop here, a collection of words. If we just add words together, then can we call it a sentence? If we just add random words together, can we call it a sentence? What do you think? No, madam. Yes, oh, madam. yes very good. I mean, we can add words just like um, me, uh, banana, and uh, run, and sit, <laughs> right? So we can add all these kinds of words together, but it does not make a sentence. So eventually to make it a proper sentence, it has to convey a sense or a meaning. And it has to be informed according to the logic of grammar, right? So as you all know, when we make a sentence, what do we have to have first when we construct the sentence? What do we have to uh, include first in a sentence? Subject. Yes, very good. We have to include the subject. That means the person who does the action. Yeah. Then the simplest sentence consists only a noun. Yeah. A naming word and a verb or an action word. Right. For an example, let's look at the sentence here. Mary walked. Yes, Mary walked. And Mary is the naming noun and walked is the action verb, which means which like indicates that an action is happening, right? And then, so if we give some examples to a, a simple sentence, can you give me some examples? where you have a noun and a verb only. Yeah. I drank. Teacher teaches. Yes, the teacher teaches. Yes, well done, very good. And then my brother sings. So all these are two word sentences and at the same time, it does convey a meaning. So we can call it as a sentence, right? Okay. So that is what basically a sentence is. And then afterwards, we are going to see what are independent and dependent clauses. Okay. So without looking at the slide, can you tell me what are independent and dependent clauses? Independent and dependent. 
what do you mean by a sorry uh, an independent law independent what does that mean what does that mean when someone says oh that's the dynasties were independent what does that mean you are independent what does that mean yeah it means that you are, you are not dependent on others you can do uh, like you can do work on your own i mean you can sometimes you might have to get help that's true but most of the time you are able to do everything by your own without getting help from others you can productively finish a task that is called being independent and if you are doing a job that means you are financially independent financially stable right so those are synonyms independent stable right independent and dependent so as i'll tell you an example um until we do our a levels and until we find a job we are dependent on who can you tell me who that is we are dependent on our parents yes very good we are dependent on our on our parents because uh, they support us like uh, they provide the us with food education and everything but when we uh, go for a job when we get recruited by a company then uh, we get fine like we get the salary and uh, we can you know buy anything we want this is it so that is called being independent and dependent right okay so the same scenario goes here in uh, clauses as well so let's see what an independent clause is in in an independent clause it can stand alone as a sentence i mean you don't have to get the help of another sentence to make the meaning that's what an independent clause is that means if you just take the sentence uh, just as an example there are two sentences okay so if you take one sentence and keep it aside then when you read the sentence you can get the meaning that's what is called an independent clause okay and it contains a subject and a verb and it's a complete idea so when you read the sentence it is not ambiguous what is ambiguous what do you mean by ambiguous what does that mean ambiguous ambiguous means like if you uh, it might be like it it, it will some something you read even but when you read or write like uh, when you go through it it does not make sense that is what is called being ambiguous right like when you read it once you don't understand it so that 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 is why it is mean by ambiguous okay so then a new word for your vocabulary list yes so ambiguous so you can learn that word today right so let's look at the example here i like chocolate so of course we call it as an independent clause because it makes sense it's grammatically correct and you can tick those criteria and that is when we call it as an independent clause okay so what happens in a dependent clause so it's same scenario like i said uh, earlier in my example right us being dependent of our parents until we get a job it's the same scenario here as well okay and a dependent clause is not a complete sentence is ah then that's the case yes a dependent clause is not a complete sentence it must be attached to an independent clause to become complete right so that means another sentence has to be added to make sense that's what it means there right this is also known as a subordinate clause so and a dependent clause the synonym is subordinate clause right so you can see example such as although i like chocolate i don't like chocolate milk right so so if just look at the sentence here if we just take the sentence this only 
although i like chocolate so does it make sense when you say although i like chocolate does it make sense or is it ambiguous ambiguous yes very good it is ambiguous right so that is why it is called a dependent clause yes and because he read many books can you get a meaning no but if you add another sentence like this because he read many books his vocabulary is um like he, no let's say like this because he reads many books he knows lot of vocabulary right then of course it does make sense right so that is why it says you need to have a support of another sentence to make sense when when it is a dependent clause okay so let's look at the structure here so when the, the here the structure is you have the subject the verb and the object with the prepositional phrase so that is optional right you can have this structure when it comes to dependent clause as an as an independent clause as well okay right moving on ah now we are going to move on to an element of a sentence yes so as you all know we have a subject as well as a verb right um can you tell me the difference between a subject and a verb what's the difference subject is the doer and the verb is the action yes very good the subject is the person who does the action the doer right but um the verb in the verb of course we can see an action happening right let's look at the example given here i sorry um he read many books then so we know the subject is he because he is the one who does the action right so ah uh, then we can directly say okay this is he and he is a subject yes but when when we think about the verb we know that read is the verb because we can see an action happening that is why we call it the subject as well as the verb okay um yes a subject can be a person animal place thing or a concept that does an action right so i like spaghetti then who likes spaghetti i like it yes so you can determine the subject in a sentence by asking the question who or what okay so then in contrast we can uh, what's that we can learn what the verb is by asking this question which is what was the action or what happened yeah then of course we can determine what the verb is okay right so before we move on is there any questions we you you want to clarify all good okay right let's move on now um yes so then we are moving to the third element of the sentence so as you know uh, i even told this one in in our previous lecture as well so when it comes to a sentence the basic structure is as follows right so we have the subject verb and the object so can you tell me uh, in a sentence what is the object what do you mean by the object in a sentence okay hmm yes very good the affected item okay that means um when so we have the subject who does the action and the item which which is being affected by the verb that is what the object is okay so then let's look at what the prepositional phrase is yes a prepositional 
prepositional phrase it begins with a preposition so we have at for behind until after of during between yes so all of those are prepositions as you know and it modifies a word in the sentence yes a prepositional phrase answers one of many questions such as where when and in what way yes let's look at the example here i like spaghetti for dinner right then he reads many books in the library so we can ask the question he reads many books where in the library so when you ask the question where it indicates a place where the action is happening yes so that is a prepositional phrase okay then so these uh, these are the rules which you need to follow when you use sentences the first one so this is something which all of you know so all of you know that a new sentence no matter where you write begins with a capital letter so let's look at the example he obtained his degree so as you know so as you can see here the h is capital here right so that's a, a rule as a, as, I mean, that's a compulsory rule which you need to follow up yeah the next one a sentence ends with a punctuation a period a question mark or an exclamation point he obtained his degree full stop so then uh, if you use a question mark can you tell me an example of a sentence where you use a question mark may i come in yes very good may i come in sir please may i come in very good well done can i order uh let's say can i order a packet of fries yes question mark with the question yes and what's what the time sorry shall i go outside yes very good shall i go outside and uh, what about the exclamation point wow wow yes this is beautiful <laughs> yeah well done yes amazing wow. yes amazing and like if you uh, see a friend of long term <gasps> is this you the like exclamation point yes <laughs> that means you you see your friend on your way and you were like excited surprised. yes you were like surprised yeah. to see uh, so she i mean she was supposed to be abroad and she has come to sri lanka so then when you see her on the on the way she's like oh, is this you yeah so <laughs> the exclamation point okay um so then the next one a sentence contains a subject that is only given once yes with obtained his degree that is the correct version yes so we can say smith he obtained his degree no that is totally wrong so the correct se sentence structure is smith obtained his degree yes then it goes under the rule of subject verb object yeah all right a sentence contains a verb or a verb phrase so then he obtained his degree so you can um, replace the word smith by using a pronoun as well yeah he obtained his degree then a sentence follows subject verb object word order so you know this one and a sentence must have a complete idea that stands alone this is also called an independent clause which we learned this earlier okay right then yes so now we are going to sorry uh, now we are going to move, look at simple compound and complex sentences okay so then when it comes to simple sentences you know that that is a basic structure yes so a simple sentence contains a subject and a verb right and
and in some locations it may also have an object right and modifiers however it contains only one independent clause right <clears throat> right um uh, not these examples i want you to give me some examples with simple sentences yes any volunteers Uh, Vira is asking whether we can go a trip. <laughs> can be, but I don't think. With COVID, of course, I don't think we might be able to, right? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. An example? She went home. Yes, Krishna, very good. She went home. I am doing a lecture at the moment. Yes, I'm conducting a lecture at the moment. Yes, I studied English. She speaks speech English. Okay. I played cricket. Good, Sachin. Um, they went to the market, to the market. Okay. I ate, what did you eat? Did you eat rice? Did you eat uh, pizza? Oh, okay, he is driving. I went home. Oh, he died. Okay, I sang a song. I sang a song, okay? Oh, I wrote a letter. Yes, this is there. I watched No Way Home. Oh, I mean, he has watched Spider Man. All right. Okay, so I'm planning to watch it. <laughs> uh, okay, my mother, sorry, my brother takes out the trash. Very good. Well done. I washed my clothes. She designed a new design. Very good. You did well. I am watching the presentation. Good. I picked flowers. Um, I play cricket. She went to the temple. Um, ah, yes, it's good that you asked this. Uh, so I have uploaded uh, the video and the PT slides in the um, Moodle. Okay, so you can download it from there. Right, yes. Um, I went to Kataragama. We are listening to the lecture. Yes, very good. I watched, I watched a program in television. Uh, thank you, Rana Singh, SKP Rana, thank you, <laughs> right, uh, the cat caught, I mean, Hajj, it has been the cat caught a rat, yeah, not cat, caught a rat, um, she danced to the song, good, just like me then, yeah, okay, um, I wrote the letter, okay, very good, Ma'am, to sing this, Oh, Sachin, thank you. Yes, uh, I play volleyball. We played badminton. He loves his pizza. Yes, very good. All of you, well done. Yes, excellent. All of you, yes. Those are simple sentences. It's simple. Oh, she slapped him. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So then, uh, yes, all of you, well done. Very good. Uh, correct answers. Very good. I'm so, uh, so impressed. Yeah. And, um, Yes, so that is basically a simple sentence, a simple structure, and it gives you meaning. So that's what you need to remember, okay? And then, of course, we have the complex sentence. Uh, we have the complex sentences, okay? Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, the compound sentences, yes? Okay, so now we know what a simple sentence is, right? So now let's see what a compound sentence is. In a compound sentence, it contains at least two independent clauses. That means uh, two independent clauses are put together in a compound sentence. Yes? So then, uh, so as you all know, when it comes to independent clauses, uh, if you take one sentence like uh, and keep it aside, then it makes a sense. Like it makes sense, right? 
alam mo it gives meaning but uh, so if we put it together then again it does give meaning yes that is why it's called a compound sentence yes then these two independent clauses can be combined with a comma and a coordinating conjunction or with a semicolon yes so let's look at the example here the pirate captain lost her treasure map but she still found the buried treasure yes so if you to i mean if we take these sentences uh, separately the pirate captain lost her treasure map so if we just draw a line here with after the word map then does it make sense with it if we take this sentence and keep it aside tell me does it make sense the pirate yes, yes very good it does make sense that is why it is called an independent yeah. clause yes okay the pirate captain lost her treasure map but she still found the buried treasure then i really need to go to work but i am too sick to drive yes so if you take this one i really need to go to work yeah it does make sense grammatically correct subject verb object yes is there i am too sick to drive yes of course then again it does make sense so then it is also an independent clause yes okay so can you tell me um some examples to it some form sentences is possible this i am feeling up. yes puta yeah i am feeling not well because i was had a lots of cool drinks yesterday okay uh, i was not feeling well because i had lots i had lots of drinks yesterday i had a lot of uh cool things yesterday okay i had a lot of okay i was no way home but i won't spoil you <laughs> yes mama thank you for that because i want to you know watch the movie without any spoilers yes thanks for that <laughs> all right um i want to go there but i don't know the address yes so much very good um i like to do it but i'm shy really what do you want to do it don't be shy yes <laughs> Okay. Um, I like coffee, but my brother likes tea. Very good, Jennifer. Yes, well done. Um, she really loves me, but she is afraid of her pain. That's why she is. Just... Oh my, really? Yeah. You know those things do happen in our life. Yes. So you know we have to move on from those stuff. But yes, the sun rises in the east because it's a word. So yes. Okay. I want to this. study with. But uh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> But you can't be lazy, right? I mean, when when you want to get a degree, of course you can't be lazy. You have to study hard, and you know you have to do some sacrifices. So yeah. <laughs> I like to see the madam, but she is not turn on the camera. Oh no no! I mean, I do. <laughs> I do want to like uh, you know uh, sit on the camera, but the thing is, still I'm doing the lecture in that university, so uh, I'm doing the lectures from a, a PC. That's why like there's a, they don't have a webcam. <laughs> I couldn't bring my laptop uh, since like I I came in a hurry in the morning. That's why. <laughs> anyway, I like there will be a day where I'll be see like you'll be seeing you like you'll be seeing me. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, so there are like a lot of sentences coming here okay um it's so interesting in your class i can't stop eating <laughs> though i'm hungry <laughs> okay <laughs> can't stop eating okay don't stop eating you can eat anything you want um some people are uh, some people mm. okay here this is how you should say it right some people should not throw garbage to the road but they are doing it anyway yes then of course yes that's true i went to the shop but it had closed yes uh fall but mhm mm this is all the plant okay i'm going to the dance so i need a new dress yes this will be good oh <laughs> i want to lose weight yet i eat the daily yes same here same here that same story yeah true story for me as well and um 
okay i like spider man but james bond is the best um okay so i don't like spider man but i like uh, andrew garfield so that's that's why i like spider man movie so <laughs> right so then yeah mm, the boys sang and the girls dance couldn't teach us first oh thank you lakshika <laughs> um we went to the mall however we won't went in the shopping okay <laughs> i know it happens right yes i study hard because i could pass this and go to shop i want to buy a new phone but i don't have enough money for it from the nikka yes do you want to like buy iphone 13 are you like are you are you planning for that <laughs> okay um i want to the theater so my dad was kick me at night Oh this one Minhaj you have to say if i went to the theater my dad would kick me out of the house yeah so that you can you may here you have to use the if type yeah okay um <laughs> yes nazim yes um i had to go there but i don't like to uh, okay let's tell let's tell like this i have to go to the library but i don't like to go there yeah I think most of it can relate to that, right? Uh, I don't. I want to. I have to go to the library, but I don't like to go there. So yeah. Ha! Huh? Here, yeah, lot of guys searching. You, you may not even know you're married. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Actually, I'm not married. So. <laughs> um. And the. Huh? This is why I put that message, ma'am. Present <laughs> <laughs> from your mouth. <laughs> yes, so that that is like that. Uh, that I mean, the cat is out of the box, right? Yeah. So then that is out there as well. <laughs> okay. Um, Sri Lanka is a precious country, but the rulers destroyed it. So damn true, such a genius. Totally agreed on it. Yeah. From Holland. Uh, okay okay it's it's your perspective it's like <laughs> okay i mean he's cute but and who is like the better one so <laughs> okay i'm sorry but i don't know don't know your age okay yes that's fine um i want to study abroad but i don't have money mm. i have to gain I, i have to gain my weight but it's just impossible nothing is impossible right if you try on it you can do it i mean it does not uh, allocate for in like in my sense because like i don't want to <laughs> like i want to do it but still i don't want like to defer to it so <laughs> um yeah that's true yes um yes so the spider man uh, actors yeah okay yes i can agree on that as well but Uh, my special treatment goes to and to anyways okay <laughs> right um <laughs> so was they not okay right um i want to get up early but i can't yes to lashika same here <laughs> yes i think we are in the same boat yeah okay uh, boys are very happy to hear that you are not married but <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that. Um if I say well I'll be able to select the study. Yes. Is it very good? Well done. Um uh, Pute Sudarika uh, the lecture recordings are uploaded in the module. I think uh, you have gotten the uh, IDs and you know how to log in and everything. I think you have gotten it. So you have to go to that Pute Yeah, then this. Okay, I had to read. I had to read French poet. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's say like this. I have to read French poems, but I don't know French. Okay. Right. So then, uh, yes, I would love to you know read out all your sentences, but we need to continue with the session. So let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Then all of you know what compound sentences are. Okay. 
Now we are going to move on to complex sentences. So what are complex sentences? I mean, the name itself has the meaning. Yes, complex. That means it's hard to understand. Yeah. I mean, I mean uh, complex in the sense that it's that's the basic meaning which we need to get. Okay. Um, a complex sentence contains at least one independent clause and at least one dependent clause. Yes, but in compound sentences, we had two. Can you remember? We had two, yes, independent clauses, right? But when it comes to complex sentences, we have one independent clause and one dependent clause. That, 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 that's why we say it's a complex sentence, okay? And dependent clauses can refer to the subject, who or which, the sequence, time, since, while, or the casual elements because if of the independent clause. Okay? And let's look at the, sentence, uh, the, the description here. If a sentence begins with a dependent clause, that means uh, a sentence which does not make sense, neither. Right? Um, not the comma of this clause. If, on the other hand, the sentence begins with an independent clause, there is no comma separating the two clauses, right? Okay, let's look at some examples here. Right? Here are a few examples for your reference. Um, let's look at the first example. Although she completed her work, comma, she still needed to work on an assignment for college. Yeah? Note the comma in the sentence because it begins with a dependent clause. Right? So like, if you look at the same uh, scenario, although she completed her work, if you just cut from the word, like after the word work, does it make sense? Although she completed her work, right? it does not, neither, right? So that is why we need to have an independent clause as well as a dependent clause together to make it a complex um, sentence. Yeah, Because he organized his files by color, it was easier to locate the required information. Right? Here also note the comma in this sentence because it begins with a dependent clause. Yes. Then the third one. They studied grammar rules for many hours as they were so interesting. Yeah. So note that there is no comma. In the previous sentences, we had a comma to make it a difference, like make it a difference, but in the third sentence, it doesn't have a comma. So then we have to see when, like what is the independent clause as well as what is the uh, dependent clause, right? And uh, we have not added a comma here because it begins with an independent clause. Okay, right. So do you have any questions up to now? Madam, can you share the slide? Is it not shared? Uh, I can't see. Uh, just give it a second for that. Uh, can you see the slides now? No. Others? Can you see the slides? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, yeah. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. 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 Um, right. So then we discussed the examples. And also, the next one is the last one that is the combination of compound and complex sentences. Yes. So what happens here is that we can combine the sentence types, yeah? So in a compound complex sentence, it contains at least two independent clauses and at least one dependent clause, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so then uh, for you to have an idea, right? I'm going to show you a video uh, then you will be like if like it will be easy for you to understand it easily, okay? Right. Uh, give me a second. I will share my screen with you. Can you?
can you hear the video put it okay right can't hear it no madam we can't oh wait give me a second three types of sentence structures no no okay yes uh, okay yes, we can. sentence structures there are three types of sentence structures simple compound and complex it's important to use each of these structures because it makes our writing more engaging for the reader simple sentences a simple sentence has one independent clause that is it has a subject it has a verb and it is a completed thought yes so it is like if you think about simple sentences it's an one independent clause which has one subject one verb and a completed thought so that's what we need to remember okay a completed thought here's an example of a simple sentence grace opened the door it has one subject and one verb sometimes simple sentences have a compound subject like in this sentence the table and chairs need to be cleaned. Simple sentences can also have a compound verb. For example, the boy smiled and nodded. Here is another simple sentence. Even though it's longer, we know it's still a simple sentence because it has one subject and one verb. Compound sentences. Okay. So when we think about uh, simple sentences, right? So we might think that, okay, one subject, one verb, one object. So that is what a simple sentence is. No, but sometimes, there, I mean, there are low, even longer sentences which can be categorized under a simple sentence, okay? So that is why we need to, uh, like, pay extra attention when we write sentences, whether to see whether it's a, a simple sentence, compound, or... Uh, complex, compound complex, right word, likewise, we have to analyze it a bit harder to identify that, okay? Right. Compound sentences are a combination of two or more independent clauses joined together by a coordinating conjunction. Remembering the acronym FANBOYS is an easy way to remember the coordinating conjunctions that we can use to join independent clauses. Okay, so when we say conjunction, uh, normally we use conjunction when we want to combine sentences. Okay, so we can say for, um, and, no, neither, no, right? You have heard of it, right? Neither, no. Uh, let's say as an example, um, I'm neither a football or a um, volleyball fan, right? Neither, no. Yes, um, let's say... Um, I like ice cream, but I don't like, um, let's say, cake. Yeah? I like ice cream, but I don't like cake. Yes, so those are conjunctions where we combine sentences together. All right, okay. So if you want to remember conjunctions, you can just simply remember fanboys. Yes, so remember fanboys, then you can, you know, uh, analyze it. Okay, F means four. A for and, N for no, B for but, uh, O for all, Y for yet, S for so. Yeah, so you can remember by fanboy. You see fanboy. Here are two simple sentences. Grace opened the door. She looked outside. Let's join them using the coordinating conjunction and. We have created a compound sentence. Grace opened the door and she looked outside. Right? So there, there are two independent clauses because, as I said before, if you take one out, it makes sense. Okay? Grace opened the door and she looked outside. Yes? So then this, this is called a compound sentence. The sentence has two independent clauses. That is, both clauses are a completed thought with a subject and a verb. Here are some other compound sentences. They each have more than one independent clause and are joined by a coordinating conjunction.
Complex sentences. Complex sentences are composed of an independent clause and a dependent clause. Dependent clauses are not completed thoughts. Here is a complex sentence. When he won the award, everyone cheered. This is the independent clause because it has one subject and one verb, and it's a completed thought. This clause is a dependent clause because even though it has a subject and a verb, it's not a completed thought. Let's look at another example. Now that I have saved up, I can buy a bike. This is an independent clause because it has one subject, one verb, and is a completed thought. What do you mean by now, I, now that I have saved up? It means I have collected some money and uh, I think the money is enough now and I can buy a bike. Same goes with the phone. Yes. So I have now that I have saved up, I can buy a phone. Yeah. This is a dependent clause because it's not a completed thought. The dependent clause can go at the end of the sentence like this. Or it can go first in the sentence, like this. Notice that if the dependent clause begins the sentence, we use a comma to separate the clauses. See if you can work out the structure of these sentences. Carl knew lots about monkeys. That's right, it's a simple sentence. It has one subject and one verb. Let's try another one. Although Matt was running late, he seemed relaxed. That's right, it's a complex sentence. It has an independent clause, which is a completed thought, and a dependent clause, which isn't a completed thought. One more. He was hungry, so he ate. Yeah, so this one, what do you think? Is it a simple, compound, or a complex sentence? Compound. Compound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Compound. Okay, let's see. It's a compound sentence. Very good. Very it good. has two independent clauses. They are both completed thoughts, joined using the coordinating conjunction, so. Identifying different sentence structures is easy. Yeah, okay. So that is about complex compound and complex compound sentences yes yes ma'am um, yes, yes, yes. ma in that sentence if we uh, separate that so that uh, can you can you show that uh, previous sentence um, so what was the sentence i can't remember let's see uh, he was hungry so he ate if we separate that uh, by so that TA, it has no meaning. So, uh, so, so that TA means it is incomplete. Yeah, he ate, so he was hungry. Yo, yes. Uh, we cannot like uh, jumble it. So we can we can say um he was hungry because of that he ate. Also, we can say he was hungry, so he ate. Yes. This is the structure which we need to like use. ஒருக்காமல்ாராப் uh we we state that i means me me uh is that i should be always capital in every uh point of the sentence i yes. means uh, yes. sounds me yes yes that's a really good question yes it has to be capital whether it's in the beginning in the middle or wherever it has to be capital i has to be capital yes Thank you, 
Okay. Uh, so, give me a second. I have to check the. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. So I hope you now you understand what simple compound complex sentences are, right? And um, yes. So I will be uh, uploading the video to Moodle. Okay. And uh, yes. So you can refer to the previous videos as well. Okay. And um, yes. So I think the title would be, give me a second. Sorry about this, but yeah. okay. I'll try to send a message through LMS because I can't log in now. I think there's some kind of problem here, but anyway, I'll try to see. Yes, okay. Um, yes. any other questions? So, the previous videos are also uploaded there. The, yes, the uh, videos are visible, yes. Mm. Okay, all right. So, uh, I hope you had understood the lesson today and we had a fun session. And uh, yes, so I'll be meeting. Uh, STB page. Uh, Lakshika, the thing is, uh, it might take a bit of a time to explain that here, but uh, Yes, you can just um, talk to the admin, uh, like uh, Mr. Tarak is there, like Mr. Gopan is there, so you can talk to them and they will explain it to you, okay? Um, yes, so the F STB page is, yeah, you can get the videos in the FB STB page, it's uploaded there, and you can download the video as well as the PowerPoint, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much, all of you, for you know being such an amazing crowd. And uh, yes, I enjoyed your session as well. I mean, I like I like to you know have you know like for like two two hour lecture. But uh, let's see how it goes. Yes. Okay. And uh, just thank you all for joining in. And Merry Christmas. Enjoy Christmas. And. Um, yeah, so I'll see you after the holidays and uh, yeah, okay, thank you very much for, for joining in today, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, madam. 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 Say thank you, Sunny. No worries. Bye. Take care. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everyone. Bye.